Mike Still from Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with fifth year forward, Claire Harvey. Claire, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Uh, great start to the season for you guys. Uh, obviously a sweep over Brandon, mm -hmm. uh, but I want to talk a little bit about your basketball journey. You've overcome quite a few obstacles in your career, including two ACL tears. Uh, maybe just run me through sort of just being able to overcome that and how it's helped you sort of get to where you are, just being able to be mentally strong in that regard. Yeah, um, anytime someone goes through a traumatic injury, I would, I would call it traumatic because uh, you have to take a lot of time to to get back into things. Um, it's tough um, in your mental space. Um, it takes a toll on you over time when you can't do the thing that you love. Um, so having a good kind of mental uh, state to be in and knowing that things are gonna be okay is huge. Um, and I've, I've experienced um, having good mental, mental health and just being super positive about things it actually relates to um, performance um, in your rehab or whatever it may be with pain and things like that. So it's it's a huge factor, um, more than people think. Yeah. And you mentioned too, uh, I'll give a little bit of a shout out here to Cal, uh, Cal Botterill, your mm -hmm. sort of sports psychologist, yeah. and how he sort of helped you as well in terms of just being able to stay mentally strong in some, some aspects. Maybe talk yeah. a bit about that too. Yeah, so he did a really good job of just reassuring me that everything would be okay. Uh, sometimes I can, I can admit I, I would be a little bit over dramatic but uh, um, I guess totally warranted when it's uh, something that you really care about. Um, but if I was having pain or if, you know, I was feeling like things weren't moving fast enough, he would just remind me, you know, things are going to work out. It just takes time. Um, you just have to focus on the end goal and what you want to achieve. And if you keep uh, your head in a good space, you'll be, you'll be off to the races. So yeah, he is a huge part of um, keeping my mental health and my positivity in check. So that was, I was very grateful to have him, very blessed. Uh, a senior member of this team that's been through some battles, been through some wars, especially in the post where <laughs> you've used your athleticism being undersized, but being able to sort of use the skills that you have. Yeah. Um, last season, the team makes the playoffs mm -hmm. for the first time in, in close to a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk to me about uh, the emotions and, and the feelings of being able to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely um, a new feeling, something that we hadn't felt in, a, in quite a while. Um, but it was um, almost uh, heartwarming because uh, uh, me and my other teammates who had been there from the beginning know how much work we have put in um, on the court and off the court to try and build up the culture um, and get to a point where we can actually compete and win games. So it's been huge that um, we were able to accomplish that, that last year and that's um, probably one of the highlights of my time here at the U of M. Yeah. So now you're going to your, your final season here, your final home opener as yeah. a Bison as well. <laughs> uh, what's maybe running through your head as you sort of go into this, your final year uh, and final sort of opportunity to create some memories with, with, some, with the players on your roster? Yeah, I'm just looking forward to just embracing every single moment of it. Um, even the, the media stuff, like all every aspect of it, um, including pre-games, you know, workouts, um, film, um, just enjoying every single moment of it because I know it's never, it's never going to happen again. So um, just enjoying this time and I have um, a great team and a great support system that I can be able to not worry about anything and just enjoy, enjoy being in this moment. Well, the team got off to a great start with a sweep over Brandon and obviously wish you all the best of luck this Thank weekend you. as you take on Mount Royal in the home opener. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much, Mike.